if you're going to take your family from Denver to New York City, well, you're not going to carry all the fuel that you need to get there and to come back and all the food and everything else. You, you use resources uh, where you find them. And that is exactly what we're trying to do in space. The Colorado School of Mines has been around for 145 years, but only in the last 20 has it set its sights towards the stars, taking what they've learned from mining on Earth and applying it to extraterrestrial resources. The idea of mining space resources isn't new, but the financial implications are incredible, and they open up exploration opportunities not only for NASA, but the emerging private sector as well. As the space program has become more mature, as we want to go further and increase our payload size, we want to also stay longer on planetary fields, the realization that space resources are important has come at the very top of the priorities. We have sent everything into space, materials, propellants, human consumables. This is extremely expensive. Just to put a kilogram in low Earth orbit is $4,000. If you want to put it on the surface of the moon, that is about $35,000. What makes sense and what has caught the attention of space agencies is the use of resources in space, in space, so that we can cut our dependence from Earth. So what we're looking right now is very basic elements. We're looking for oxygen for the crew to breathe. We're looking for water so that humans can drink, can also grow plants, but more importantly, water that you can split into hydrogen and oxygen, making it the most energetic rocket propellant. So think about everything that you can use in space that you don't have to ship from Earth, and that's the true value of space resources. The demand from the private sector is growing, propelled by startups like Elon Musk's SpaceX, or Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin, or satellite startups like Planet. Morgan Stanley estimates that the commercial space industry, worth about $350 billion today, could be generating over a trillion dollars in revenue by the year 2040. The potential is so great that institutions like the Colorado School of Mines are creating departments and programs to teach the skills that living, working, and manufacturing in space will require. As the interest on this field started building up, we decided that uh, it was about time to also extend this into the academic side and be able to offer a program that will start training and educating engineers, scientists, economists, policy analysts on this rapidly developing field of space resources. The opportunities of the commercial space age are not unlike those of the early industrial age, the time when government and big companies were building the infrastructure that paved the way for aviation, automobiles, and more. But what they're doing at the Colorado School of Mines is giving students the skills to use that infrastructure and build the companies of tomorrow.